Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this uh, video, I'm going to share with you my uh, point of view, my perspective, and my understanding about the issue between Israel and Palestine. I'm going to use this video for my students because this semester they are learning critical reading of me, and at the same time, they are also learning introduction to linguistics. So this is going to be interesting. Right. So uh, in terms of introduction to linguistics, my students learn about morphology and the meaning of words in English. And uh, for the critical reading, my students learn how to synthesize information from different sources, especially how to link meaning of the text, information, and the actual reality that they saw online. And I have posted um, a blog in my blog post. Here it is. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Here we go. This is the uh, my blog. As you can see, a sparkling silent silhouette. Um, okay. Right. Um, okay, this is what I'm going to share with my students about Bilal ibn Rabah movie and the liberation of Palestine, reflection of October 7th of 2023. This issue is interesting because it involves the death of so many innocents and civilians, especially in the sights of the Palestinians. And Israel considered those as casualties. In media of the Western, so particularly the United States, uh, those people who died because of this conflict were considered as the, uh, the side effect of hunting for Hamas. Okay, so this is very interesting. Now, uh, in this uh, post, I would like to reflect on the Bilal movie toward on a studying Palestine, especially all peculiar things that are related to Judaism, Christianity, and Zionism, together with Israel, the country once appreciated the United States of America. Okay, so see, USA. Um, still, uh, because I like the United States of America and uh, how painful it is to see that this country is being used by that single one ally. And I tried to study what, what was going on there? Well, what is wrong with them? Why did it involve killing so many people? So uh, from here, you can read it yourself. I started by looking at the word humans okay so these are humans this picture of uh, Milan. um anyone who look like this with the two eyes or standing like like me are considered humans okay so we have to agree on that and animals are those who uh, do not have ability to use gadgets or <laughs> or animals are those who uh, do not wear any particular clothes Okay, so from here, humans are the most interesting living, moving, and thinking beings on Earth. Stories of humans are never far from objective. There's happiness, sadness, joy, sorrow, love, or hate. So from here, I look at uh, Bilal ibn Rabah. Um, there was the idea of being a slave. So Bilal was a slave before, under this uh, people called here, um, from Ethiopia. And then he was a slave of the cruel master. And it was, oh, there's a cat. Witchcraft, okay. okay. I don't hate cat, but anyway, so Bilal was an Abyss Abyssinian slave in bondage to the cruel master who mistreated him for accepting Islam. He became an early follower of Prophet Muhammad in Mecca. So Bilal ibn Rabah was a slave, okay, you know, a slave when someone whose life was not free and he was uh, in captivity he was so poor he had to work uh, hard hardest uh, to earn um, standard or basic that's that's sad right but then here um when the muslim entered mecca and prim in the year of nine uh, bc bilal made the call to prayer from the top of the kaaba and then Bilal remained a trusted companion of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, 
and of the caliph, he eventually traveled to Syria, where he became governor, and he said to be buried there. Interesting. So, Bilal ibn Rabah was a slave, and then he died as a governor in Syria. Okay, now, move on. The, the movie itself was released by Doha Film in 2018. So, um, there were interesting characters like Guvaira, Umi, Umayya, uh, Safwan, Okba, Said, and Sohaib, and many other characters, okay, Bani Umayya. So if you, most of you who do not live or, or were not raised in the Arabic land, you might probably think that, oh, so when you hear the word Arabs mean they were Muslims. Well, not entirely true, okay? Because before Islam was there, before uh, the point of the Muhammad Wasallam, Arabic was the Arabs. People of the Arabs were so bad at the time. They killed children, they killed women, they killed uh, daughters and just saving the, the boys at the time. And then this uh, Muhammad came and received the revelation through the Angel of Gabriel from Allah SWT. Okay, so some people say though that Muhammad has a psychedelic condition, you know, hallucination or something like that. Okay, if what he received was good and intellectually correct and genuinely acceptable in many other parts of the world with scientific investigation, then would there be someone who kept asking the validity of what he got. Now that is belief, that's faith, okay? You, you don't have to meet the Prophet Muhammad. You don't have to meet Allah just to prove whether it is correct or not, right? Just the same with listening to YouTube video or reading news in the newspaper or even texts in so many textbooks. You, you reject all of them. Well, there might be some truth, right? So in Mecca at that time, they moved from Mecca to Medina here, the Khalifa uh, went from Mecca to Medina. And then in Medina, they built a masjid that was called uh, Masjid of Medina. So from Medina, they go back again to Mecca. So on and on, this is from Milad bin Rabba about Christianity at the time uh, in Europe. Uh, the Christianity did not help the life condition of the people that much. In places where Islam existed, the civilization was at its best. Here, the Cordova Muslim Spain, 600,000 manuscripts, which was excellent. And here, uh, the European Christian had a call to undermine such development. There seems to be such jealousy and hatred throughout the great civilization of Islam in Spain from the European sentimentality in the past. Okay, so. Christians started problem in Spain. From here, I didn't say that, but this is according to Adelabru and according to the historical fact, right? Now we move on from the Bilal movie from uh, to Palestine sovereignty and independence from Deeper to the Sea. So I was curious, you know, just to understand what does it mean with uh, Deeper to the Sea and many other particular terms that were expressed and used mostly by the uh, Israel officials in social media. So from here, um, I use qualitative approach. Qualitative means when you approach uh, data or verbal statements and you draw the meaning of that and you link those statements to uh, related theories and then you get into your own conclusion from there. And from here to aid my understanding and justify the description of Bilal and Rabbah and its several links. Palestinian Israel, mm, I use these two dictionaries, Oxford Advanced Learners Dictionary and the fourth edition of Cambridge Advanced Learners Dictionary. So this is here from the historical existence of Palestine and ancient Israel. I read about this. So there were kingdoms of uh, Israel in Judah. Mm, that was a long time ago. Okay, so... We live in 2024 right now. Are you still living in your old time? They keep mocking, oh, you know, Al Quran was so old 1400 years ago. Now, here is the people putting the 
older than that. See Talmud, Torah. They quote it and then nobody <laughs> said anything about it. But they kept mocking Muslim. I don't know why. What kind of mentality is that? Jealous to a Muslim. Sure. Uh, we do have to acknowledge that the terms of our ancient terms, you know, fact, critical minds to ask the questions. This is very interesting. You can uh, read it yourself. This is a very historical statement from here. And uh, the, the notion of Israel in the ancient with Israel today is completely different. They were completely different entities. And from here, um, the year 1948, so I studied about the existence of these uh, people in Palestine. I found out that the, the word Palestine exists in dictionary. They're the very old one. And in 1948, there were Zionists, the Jews came in with the help here, uh, European Christian and the British in the area reaching the year 1948. The Palestinian received destruction to its centuries. See, so 100. Um, more than 50 years being murdered, slaughtered, bombed. How cruel you are, Israel. It's very unacceptable. The language of Palestinians and the way they express themselves in arts, particularly singing, poetry, and music, signify that Palestinians are more creative and advanced in Israel. So on and on here, um, there's one thing, you know, I found statement from the uh, Israelis, Muslims are not welcome here. We will all, we will kill all the Arabs. This is our land. Land, this is about land, okay? As if it still happened in 19, uh, 1920s, a very old time, but land. So the world map is already made. Why do you still talk about land at this time? It doesn't make any sense. You can go to another country, you apply for asylum, or you apply as a citizen over there. Why do you have to talk about land, okay? Um, I was stunned. I have a big different perspectives with this woman. Then I reframe, who are Arabs? What is Arab? So I studied about Arabs. Arabs are found here. It says, the person from the Middle East of North Africa who speaks Arabic as a first language. Interesting. So the area of the Middle East and North Africa, those are Arabs. So when the Israelis say that uh, we will kill all the Arabs means they will also kill people in North Africa, which is actually um, in the American sense, they were called black, right? And on and on. Okay, by the way, though, when I talk about black, there's no blackness in Islam. Everyone is treated equal. Everyone is not equal. No black, no white, no avocado, no, no brown. People are considered the same. Skin color is just a matter of recognizing your physical appearance, that's all. Nothing special about skin color, except for uh, medical purposes, it's fine, but not as a way to evaluate how well you are as a human, okay? Skin color doesn't mean anything. It's just how to fit in with your favorite clothes, that's all. And the Holocaust study, okay, now this is interesting. When the Jews um, representing Israel, this is especially the official officials, they, the Holocaust. Okay, so I studied about the Holocaust. So it says the killings of millions of Jews and others and others by the Nazis before and during the Second World War. Before and during. Hmm, so there is no after Second World War. I'm curious. So the term Holocaust, so the Holocaust with a small letter, each letter is its first letter, means a very large amount of destruction, especially by fire or heat of the killing of very large amounts of numbers of people, small age Holocaust. So when I tried to understand this meaning and I related to what happened in Gaza on the West Bank, and now in Rafah, um, especially in Palestine, I consider that they were the one who experienced the Holocaust. That's Palestine Holocaust here, right here, Palestine's Holocaust. Because out of Hitler and the Nazis had collapsed long ago. So where did these people come from? I look at the appearance of the Israel. They do not like Arabs. If there were some, you know, Hebrews in that area, 
I look at the Syria, I look at Jordan, I look at the Cyprus, Turkey. Um, they did not resemble the same. They, they, they expression, the way they talk, not about, you know, especially about language Hebrew. Um, Zionists and Zionism, okay, this is interesting. I found it that these people have this political mindset as the Zionists. Zionism is a political movement that had its original aim, uh, the creation of a country for Jewish people and now works to help the development of Israel. Okay, so when you condemn Zionism, it's not anti-Semitism. Okay, now this is interesting. Anti-Semitism, what is that? Mm, I found here. Anti-Semitism is actually Semitic refers to people of Arabs and Jews. So if you say you're anti-Semitism when you anti-Arabs, anti-Jews. So when you hate Palestinian, Palestinians speak Arabic, so they are considered as Arabs. And if you hate Palestinians, it means you are also anti-Semitism toward Palestinians. So if you hear uh, the U.S. Uh, or Western media talking about anti-Semitism as a definition to purely Jews only, that's completely false because that's an old usage. Okay, now this is Islamic Ummah. Okay, please read it by yourself. I'm not going to explain. And okay, this is interesting as well. The God-chosen people, I do not buy that. <laughs> there is no God-chosen people. Everyone is God chosen people. Okay. So if they're not God chosen people, they're not going to be on earth. So God chose you to be people. What makes you human is what you do to other humans and what the way you worship God. That's for sure. Here, Semitic in its old use was reserved only to Jews. Okay. Semitic. The term anti-Semitic is defined as having or showing in strong dislike of Jewish people or treating them in a cruel and unfair way. So this is uh, abs absurd. Semitic Jews, Arabs and Jews, okay? This old use. The modern use is, uh, includes Arabs and Jews or to their languages. Now, this is um, saying anti-Semitism, the strong dislike or cruel and unfair treatment of Jewish people which is also related to the Arabs people. So this is anti-Semitism. Uh, this word is completely fallen into pieces. People no longer believe with the idea of anti-Semitism. On and on is about Christianity and all that. You can read it yourself. I have, um, I'm going to post the website here, the URL of this blog post in my uh, caption this video and here as well. Genocidal mentality of Israel, the face of neo Nazi. I consider what Israel did to Palestinians are similar to Nazi. They're the neo Nazi or the new version of Nazi. <laughs> okay, so people say, oh, they hate Hitler, they killed the Jews and all that. But then what happened is they, this, this time they kill Palestinians. Maybe it's the, the Nazi breed or something that is snapping into. And sneak in into this um, um, Israel, right? And if, even if Israel defense forces goes their civilians as well, and then they kill their civilians, and then they point others, and they talk to the Western media, and then they push as if everyone believes that the tubers was started by uh, Hamas, uh, which is actually false, right? So people always want to seek for the truth. Not everybody, not everybody wants to listen to lies, repeated lies, not become truth. Repeated lies becomes disgusting news, okay? So here you can read it about what happened to the United States. So it seems that the, the Israel is latching itself into the US and they use the idea of Judea Christian. They, it's weird, they blend in Christianity and Jews together. It's weird, evangelical Christian. It doesn't make any sense at all. You can read my writing here. And okay, so this is, here it goes. October 7 and the November 11. October, November. E, seven, nine. It's odd, eight. And the month, October, November. 
Wow, you can read this. Um, the United States is going to be broke just to help Australia align. And that means is actually Israel had been used in manipulating the US financial sources. That's, that's so bad. Okay, so that's the end of my point of view for Palestine and Israel situation. So who which which party that is guilty at this point? Of course, Israel. Of course, definitely. There's no other way. Because there were so many victims in Palestinian side. And the latest news was that Palestinian wants to um get their food and they gather together in the open field and suddenly the IDF bombed them and hundred people died simultaneously. Who would be there to do that other than monsters? Right. So stop this genocide. If you keep doing this and then you you keep saying, oh, the settlers or the Israeli citizen wants to see the sea by killing civilians of the Palestinians, you are already lost as well. You're not acceptable in this world. You're lost, we don't need you. You need to go out from this world. You said, okay, people say communism or even China, they're not really that bad compared to Zionism. The Pol Pot and all that were even cases in in Africa and all that. It's not the same like what happened in Israel. At least those people in other places did not kill children, they only kidnapped them. But this one, they kill children using airstrikes. It's, it's senseless. What kind of God chosen people you are? What I was, I'm going to say is that the correct one is you are evil chosen people. The evil has chosen you to do that. And you would can fight your evil king at the end of the day, right? That's the reality we're going to happen. And I have here um, two jasmine flowers. I'd like to give this to all Palestinians. Um, jasmine flowers. It smells good. I would like to give it to all Palestinians who died because of this stupidity of the Israel forces. What do you want, Israel? What do you want? You want to get rid of Arabs. You want to gather land. You live in 2024. Nobody buy them anymore. That old mentality of getting them and just for your own people. Does it make sense? Even the US now has mosque, synagogue, and church, and temple of the Hindu in the UK. There are all done and many other religions. And now in Israel, you want to just build Jewish state? That doesn't make any sense. Unacceptable. And for what you did to what Palestinian killing children, women, that's unforgivable. Unforgivable. Palestine is free. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.